Hey, we're back. The internet came back. Hallelujah. So tell us what we're going to do here. Um, so now we're going to ask our second question about Mary Magdalene. <clears throat> what happened to her? Indelible, adaptable secrecy. secrecy. So the secrecy makes sense right away as far as... Uh, not sure what indelible means. Indelible is um, unerasable. Oh, okay. Adaptable. So although um, they a tried lot, to... yeah, although they tried to keep her thing a secret, still it was indelible, right? I mean, yeah, it's resurfacing. Sure. Lots of people are secrecy. Oh, secrecy. Bear with us, we're working with limited resources here. <laughs> okay. And um, she was kept secret. But she was very adaptable. Uh, their stories are that when she got to France, um, she eventually um, just took up residence in a cave. And there's like a grotto of Mary Magdalene that they found that is um, wildly lush and that there's strange occurrences that go on there. And there's all sorts of places in southern France where she was worshipped and she left her mark and her energy um, is there. And she adapted the teachings of Christ. So, yeah. And we need to adapt because there's an imbalance of power in our society, like an imbalance of rich and poor and men and women. So now is really the time to bring the Mary Magdalene thing to light and balance out um, the world. Yeah. You know, yin and yang, masculine and feminine. So now we're going to ask uh, how to bring her gifts to humanity. And um, I'll zoom in on this green. You just push the uh, button. Ready? Okay. How to bring her gifts to humanity. Not working. All right, breathing. Maybe listen to the music while we wait. <laughs> See if it will work. Having some technical difficulties. Not working again. All right, well, we'll be back with more Electric Fortune Cookie.